Hello and welcome to my demo with the title Simulation as a Service to Benchmark Opportunistic Networks. My name is Jens Dede and I'm working with the Department of Sustainable Communication Networks at the University of Bremen. So let's assume that we've developed a brand new networking protocol in our case for opportunistic networks. So how does an uh, ideal network protocol simulation look like? First of all, we would like to compare to other existing protocols developed by the community. For that we use standardized benchmarks. That means we make sure that we use ideally the same models, for example, for mobility and communication. We also have to ensure that the model parameters are the same or at least comparable. To make sure that different software versions are not resulting in incompatible results, we should document the used software versions. We would love to have an easy comparison of the results so we can directly see where our new protocol performs better or worse compared to existing ones. And at the end, especially for no newcomers in this area, we would like to have an easy simulation setup so there is no need to deal with libraries and server setup and so on. All this we are currently trying to tackle in our project called Oops on the Bench. So let's have a closer look at our system. The main part is our web interface, at least the part visible to the user. Here the benchmark can be set up and the parameters will be changed. Personal data, like the mail address or the privacy consent, can also be changed here. Here the user can also see the current status of the simulation the user st started. Administrative users or special users have additional options like selecting the repository or uploading plain Omnet PP files. Also the precision of the final data can be changed by administrative users. In the background, the simulation manager is taking care of the simulation itself. It enqueues the simulations to our queue and synchronizes back the status from the queue and from the simulations to the user and sends notifications to the user like simulation is enqueued, simulation is started, simulation f finished and so on. Once the simulation is queued, the simulation servers or more precisely the workers start executing the simulation. The workers are some special docker containers running an instance of Omnet++. So the worker runs the simulation, creates some resulting graphs, scale down and converts the results to CSV files. After that, the reduced results and the graphs are uploaded to our file and resource storage and the user is notified where the data or the results of the simulation can be downloaded. So let's have a look at our bleeding edge simulation test server. The main menu is here at the top of the browser window, so the most important part is how to start a new simulation. We can simply upload uh, ready to use omnipp.ini because here I'm logged in as an administrative user. We can use a generator to create our own omnipp.ini and we can use the point benchmark. Here I'm focusing on the benchmark. I called it Submit Test. Select the benchmark scenario which we would like to use. For this example, it's a taxi scenario. In the next one, we select our forwarding layer. I would like to use Kichi. And for Kichi, we have a set of parameters, we have the random number generator, the aging interval, the maximum cache size and so on. At the end I can change my email address, set the precision, tell the system where to store the results and after clicking next the simulation is started. This is a basic simulation overview so we see the submit test, we see the status of the simulation and basically the results of uh, our generated data. We see the data usage, the generated on the pp.ini and can now wait for the results. So as the started simulation is quite lengthy, I picked the results from an already finished simulation. Here I picked the roller skate scenario simulation. The simulation is finished, you see it's here with a percent at 
status is completed, we see the overall data, PGRAM usage 2.8 GB. For results passing, the required RAM usage is uh, 100 MB and the corresponding OmniPP is listed as in the example where I just started the simulation. Interesting for us right now are the results. Here we have the link for downloading results which redirects us to the Dropbox directory. Here we have basically a zip file containing some information like information about what is inside this file, some uh, CSV files with the results, how the uh, forwarding protocols and the overall simulation performed. Uh, we also have some um, graphs basically showing us the data rate over the time and uh, the liked and the non-liked data and so on. This is everything protocol related. We again have om our Omnet PP, but not any for the case we would like to rerun the simulation. And we have some statistics about the simulation. That means when did we start it? How long does the simulation take? What is the number of events and so on? So all the data we need to compare the performance of the protocol or even of the simulation server and the duration of the simulation, number of generated events, and so on and so forth. So, this information is also sent uh, via email to the user. There's no need for the user to sit in front of the computer and wait that the simulation finished. Here, the required information or the user is informed that the required information is available. Another option is to run a simulation using an omnipp.ini file. For that we can start a new simulation like saying um, submit to. We can select the omnipp.ini we would like to use, set up everything here for example we have only one section called general if there are multiple simulation sections available we can select it here and can start the simulation afterwards now the simulation is running again and the process of notification and accessing results is the same as shown before this was a brief introduction to oops on the bench if you have additional comments or would like to contribute feel free to contact me or one of my colleagues